Hi again. Welcome back to Mr. Ace Math. This lesson is on fractions. Some stuff you should know before you begin are just the basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So make sure you're good with those and let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what exactly are fractions? Fractions are made when a whole is split into equally sized pieces. A lot of teachers just say that fractions are values that are less than one whole but they completely leave out the fact that it's broken into equally sized pieces. And that's the most important part. So, let's say here we have a pizza pie, pepperoni, my personal favorite, and we cut it up. Here, we have eight pieces. Now, this is a fraction where each of these is one eighth, and we'll get into more detail about how fractions are expressed. But as you can see here, they are broken into equally sized pieces. Here, chocolate chip cookie, another favorite. Well. If I wanted to break that up, I can actually cut it in the middle and break it up into two pieces. And each of these pieces is one half. But again, what I'm trying to stress is the fact that when you break these up, when you break these holes up, they're broken into equally sized pieces. That's the most important thing to remember. So how do I write fractions? Well, fractions are part of a whole. So I have to write the part and I have to write the whole, but how do I do that? The numerator, is the top number, and that is the part. The denominator is the bottom number, and it's the total number of pieces in the whole. So let's say we have this rectangle here, and that rectangle represents one whole. Now, I can break that up into four pieces, and I'll shade one of those pieces. Well, what fraction is shaded? Well, there's four total pieces, and there's one that's shaded. We're talking about what's shaded. So that would be one fourth. The one is the numerator and the four is the denominator. Because the one tells me exactly what I'm talking about here. I'm saying what fraction is shaded. And that's one of the pieces. Well, how many pieces are there in the whole? There's four. So the shaded portion is one fourth. How about a fraction for what is not shaded? Well, how many boxes there are not shaded? Well, of the four pieces, we have one, two, three that are not shaded, so that would be three-fourths. The three is our numerator, and the four is our denominator. Because the three says the part we're talking about, and the four tells us how many pieces are in the whole. Here's another example. This time we have a whole, but we're going to break this up into 16 pieces. And the question is, what fraction is shaded? Well, we've got 16 pieces, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven pieces are shaded. So what fraction would I use? Well, that would be 7 sixteenths. 7 is the numerator, because it tells me how many boxes are shaded. And 16 is my denominator, because it tells me how many total boxes I have in the whole. How about what fraction is not shaded? Well, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine boxes that are not shaded. So what fraction would that be? 9 sixteenths. 9 is my numerator, and 16 is my denominator. 9 is my numerator because it tells me the part that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fraction that is not shaded. Since there are nine boxes that are not shaded, that's my numerator. And I have 16 boxes total in the whole. Therefore, my denominator is 16. Okay, so here I have another example where I have one whole, and I'm going to break that one whole into a certain number of parts. Here it's eight. I've got eight pieces. Now I'm going to shade a certain number. And my first question is, what fraction is blue? Well, I've got eight total pieces and three of which are blue, one, two, three. So that fraction is going to be three eighths. My numerator is three, because that's the part I'm talking about, which is blue, there are three blue pieces. And eight is my denominator, because there are eight total pieces in my whole. So our fraction is three eighths. How about what fraction is orange? Well, I've got eight total pieces. I've got one, two, three, four, five orange pieces. So that fraction is going to be 5 eighths. I've got 5 orange pieces. 
That's my numerator because that's what I'm talking about, the orange. Five orange pieces. And my denominator is eight because there's eight total pieces in my hole. Here's another example. I've got one hole. I'm going to break that up this time into 16 pieces. And I'll shade a certain number. Well, my first question is, what fraction is purple? Well, I've got 16 total pieces, three of which are purple, so that fraction is 3 sixteenths. Three is my numerator because that tells me the part which is purple, and that's what I'm talking about here. And 16 is my denominator because that tells me how many total pieces are in the hole. So my fraction is 3 sixteenths to represent the amount of the circle that's purple. How about what fraction is yellow? Well, we've got 16 total pieces, of which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pieces are yellow. So what fraction will I use to represent the yellow of the circle? Well, that would be 13 over 16. 13 is my numerator because it tells me the part or how much of it is yellow. And 16 is my denominator because it tells me how many total pieces are in the hole. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. When you're done, unpause the video. After a 3, 2, 1 countdown, your answer will be displayed. Go. So let's review our answers. We had to find different fractions for the colors to the right. So number one, what fraction is blue? 9 over 32. Number two, what fraction is green? 13 over 32. Number three, what fraction is white? 3 over 32. And number four, what fraction is yellow? 7 over 32. So let's review this lesson. Fractions are pieces of a whole that are the same size. Remember, that's the most important part. The pieces in a whole have to be the same size. A fraction is written using blank numbers. Two numbers. The top number is called the numerator. And the numerator says the part of the fraction. The bottom number is called the denominator. The denominator says the number of pieces in the whole. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.